Judge tosses out rape accuser's suit against Russell Simmons. Spike Lee directing a musical about Viagra. And Holly Robinson Pete says Trump once called her the N word. All that and more on today's Hip Hollywood Daily Hype. One of Russell Simmons' rape accusers just had her $10 million lawsuit tossed out of court pretty much because she fouled it too late. The alleged victim who sued anonymously under the name Jane Doe claimed the hip hop mogul raped her in a hotel room in 1988. Los Angeles County Superior Court Judge Mark Epstein, however, sided with Simmons stating that Doe's lawsuit filed in March 2018 falls at least four years outside of the statute of limitations. Simmons, who has publicly been accused of sexual misconduct by some 20 women, vehemently denied all the accusations and maintains that he has never been violent or abusive to women. Meanwhile, we all know Trump is a racist, so it's no surprise he's being accused again of calling someone a racial slur during his time hosting Celebrity Apprentice. During an appearance on The Karen Hunter Show, Holly Robinson Pete said the soon-to-be former president called her the N-word when she was a contestant on the show 10 years ago. Shortly after the finale, rumors started coming around that he had tossed out a, a, an N-word in referring to me. And I was like, huh? And then when the producer told me when it happened during the finale, I remember the moment. I wasn't in earshot, but I could see them deciding between me and Brett Michael. And Brett, yes. Right? That was when I heard that he said they want the N-word to win. Like, cause I guess the network wanted me, me to win and, or me to be chosen and Trump wanted Brett. Former contestant Tom Arnold said Trump would use the N-word freely on set amongst other racial slurs like calling Little John and Uncle Tom. Sounds like he was the most racist person in the room back then. Spike Lee is about to direct another musical and this time it's about Viagra. Yep, you heard that right. The legendary director has signed on to helm a musical movie about the origin story of the Little Blue Pill. He also partnered with British actor and playwright Kwame Kwe Arma to write the screenplay. Finally, going into my fourth decade as a filmmaker, I will be directing a dancing, all singing musical Spike Lee joint, and I can't wait, he said. My mom's has been waiting too, and that's the Rodgers and Hammerstein Truth Roof. Fans are also excited to hear about Spike's new joint. But if we know anything about musicals and Spike's love for long movies, this one may last longer than four hours. And finally, there may be another black Brit to consider for the role of James Bond. While everyone's been talking about Idris Elba to replace Daniel Craig, Black Panther star Letitia Wright thinks John Boyega could play the role, and he's not opposed to it. Hey, listen, Steve McQueen directing, let's do this. In the meantime, Wright and Boyega can be seen in McQueen's new anthology series, Small Acts, coming to Amazon November 20th. All right, guys, that's our daily hype. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Roku channel, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For Bollywood.com, I'm Jasmine Simpkins.